Hi guys, today I'm going to show you this fun watermelon nail design, perfect for spring and summer. For this one, there is a gradient, so you're going to need a makeup wedge, along with your thin art brush, and of course your polishes. We're going to jump right in. I like to protect my skin. This really helps with the cleanup process. This is a liquid nail tape I got from Lucky 7 Boutique. I'll include a link below to this. You can certainly use glue, regular tape, or no product at all. It's up to you. I just happen to love this product and I've never really had much luck with glue. So I'm also going to apply a base of white to my nail and let everything dry thoroughly before I start sponging on my gradient. So for the gradient I'm using a makeup wedge. Mine looks a little rough, it's because I've already cut it in half, I've already cut the top off from using it for a previous gradient. I will reuse the same makeup wedge for a number of manicures because I'm cheap and why throw something out that you can reuse. So I've also dampened this before I use it and you'll see I'm just rolling that across my nail and sponging it until I get the coverage I want. I do this about three or four times and how many times you have to do this really depends on your polish. I'm going to remove this liquid nail tape. You'll see that is great. There's no real cleanup needed. And I'm going to switch over to my black polish. I'm using a little bit of polish on a piece of tin foil. And I'm just dabbing that onto my nail, trying to make the lower edge of the seed a little bit thicker and the top edge of that seed a little bit more pointed just to give it that seed shape. I'm going to apply five of these to each of my nails. And then I'm going to switch up to a white polish and just add a little bit of a highlight to each of those seeds to give it kind of a cartoony um, reflection look. And you'll see I do the same thing tiny little bit of white polish on my brush applied to each of those seeds. If you put too much white polish just go back in and correct it. That's exactly what I end up doing on two of them here you'll see. And then I let everything dry fully before I apply my top coat and that's so that my nail polish doesn't smudge. You don't want to do all that work and ruin it at the top coat stage. So if you're inspired by me and recreate this design please hashtag Christabel Nails. I love seeing everybody's recreations and that way I'm sure to see it if you post it to Instagram. So here's a look at the finished product. I hope you like this one guys. Please leave me some comments below, thumbs up, and of course new subscribers are always appreciated.